Tony, moving on to yourself, I was looking at your stats this morning, almost 300 appearances for the club. How does this situation compare to other situations you've been through at Brunton Park? Yeah, I mean, it's quite, it's quite similar to um, a couple of seasons I had here as a player. Um, and I think, um, you know, you try to draw on your own experience as a player, but you do see it differently when you're in amongst it actually on the field than you do as a coach, but you, you do have thoughts going back to maybe defining moments or things that happened whilst you were, were a player and how that might have changed things um, for the group, for the team and the club. Um, we Going back to back to those times, and they, you know, you don't really want to be harping on about your playing days and things like that, but you know, we had some strong characters in the dressing room. Um, you know, love them or hate them. You know, you Warren Aspinalls and your David Reeves and Dean Wallins, you know, Derek Mountfields, these kind of players who'd had some successful times, not just here but elsewhere at other clubs, and all came together as a group. At the same time, we had a good, good three, four, five years together, and I think the unity was formed by the fact that we could say things to each other and it be taken in the right way and in the right context as professionals. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. we did fall out on quite a regular basis, even when we were winning games, never mind when we were losing. And I think that that just shows that the, you know, these words are used, you know, quite a lot of desire and, and think, but it did, it showed, it showed a real, um, a real desire collectively mm -hmm. for the same, the same outcome and the, and the success and, and the success for us now is to stay in the league. And I think the players have got it down there. I think they need to just try out of themselves now and believe in themselves that they can do it. I know I've heard you say that before. How do we get that type of character, the, the Mountfield, the Kev Gray? How do we bring that out of what's in the dressing room? Well, I think, I think it's already there. I think it's just slightly different now. With, with players, it is slightly different. But I think, you know, you look at Danny as a, as a local lad and, uh, you know, not pr putting pressure on Danny, but Danny, I think, you know, I played with Danny at Gretna and there's a real honesty about how he goes about his business and he is very professional. Amongst other real good professionals down there in that dressing room and I think... I think they now realise they're at a point in time as well with their, their career um, and this will be defined in a few weeks for them and it's not something to, to overstress yourself with or worry about, it's something that you should take on and, and you've got to look it in the eye and go and do it because if you hold off and let things happen then it won't work but you've got to go and try and make things happen and I think there is an honesty in that dressing room that, that will bring that out of themselves and, and the will will find a way with our help. 